Are you looking to move abroad without any degree? Well, I have a solution for you. Today, I have a special guest, Waka Waka Doctor, where he's going to talk about if you don't have a degree, you still can migrate abroad to a few of the countries. One is through the study route and the other is through the work route. So if you're interested to move abroad, make sure to stick with me till the end of this video. Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. Without any further delay, let me introduce you to my special guest, Waka Waka. Hi Waka Waka, welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy again and again. And if you don't mind, can you please introduce yourself to my audience? It's always a pleasure to be on your channel, Sarika, your knowledge buddy. Um, I am Waka Waka Doctor. Everyone calls me Waka Waka Doctor because I'm a medical doctor who enjoys traveling and I share all information with respect to moving to different countries on my social media platforms where I'm simply just known as Waka Waka Doctor. Okay, so thank you very much for the introduction. So Waka Waka Doctor, you recently launched this book, which I read. And there was one topic which I found it very useful, which I think I want to share with my audience, which was about, you know, three countries where you can migrate without even a degree. So if you don't mind, can we talk about it so that my audience can take advantage of this information which you shared in your book? Amazing. Thank you very much. I mean, um, when I was writing the book a few months ago, I just thought of different things that people wouldn't really talk about. And one of the things that did stand out for me was moving abroad without a degree, because I know that moving abroad are either, you know, a lot of people want to move abroad through the academic route, which is often the easiest pathway, or they move through job opportunities that offer them visa sponsorship. But we also have a large number of people who don't have degrees at all um, and want to move abroad. So for me, there are three countries where you can move to without a degree. Before I delve into these countries, I'd like to just say a few things so that it prepares your mind. Um, there are other opportunities that exist for you, even if you don't have a degree. And I spoke about it a little bit in my book as well. And I'm just going to touch uh, bits and pieces here. Number one is if you don't have a degree at all, you can. And so long as you speak English, if you speak English, you can simply go to several countries and teach English. Countries like Spain, countries like Cambodia, countries like Mexico, countries like Japan, Thailand. And all you need to do is to get a teaching English as a foreign language certificate for free. It's online. You can go to teacherrecord.com, www.teacherrecord.com and you can get the document for free. And there are several websites in my book that are also listed where you can apply for jobs and teach English as a foreign language, okay? So that's one pathway. Another pathway you can um, move abroad with without having you know, a degree is to learn some non-coding skills in tech, okay? Tech is widely spoken of these days and most jobs on various job boards are you know, tech related. So if you can acquire a skill, you, you, you'd you find anywhere online these days, they would say, become a data scientist in six weeks, become a data this in six weeks, UX, you are UX designer, you are researcher, you can develop yourself, you can upskill yourself and learn a skill in six, eight weeks, and then begin to apply for these jobs. And then before you know it, you're abroad. Okay, so just let me use that to set your minds. Okay, now, there are several countries you can move to if you don't have a degree at all. And what I mean is this. If you don't have a degree, you can still go to these countries to try and acquire a skill. Because people often say that, I mean, if you want to go abroad, it's either you have money to take you abroad. It's either you have a degree or you have a skill. But these countries recognize that you might not have anything at all and you might still want to come. So the first one of them is Finland. Okay, Finland, an amazing place. Um, it's free of charge to move to Finland. And one of the universities that particular, I, I mean, I hold dear is the University of Vamia. Okay, V-A-M-I-A, -A, University of Vamia is free. You can become, you can learn electrical skills in there. You can learn how to become a waiter or a cook or a chef. You can learn how to become a plumber as well. So they've got vocational schools in Finland and there are several of them only that I love the University of Vamia because it's free so you want to take a look at that um, university and admissions closed um, recently and it's all going to open again in August so mm. be prepared 
Uh, the second country on my list is Australia. Australia, they've got two particular universities you want to pay interest, um, you want to always check out. Uh, you can check out Stanley College and TAFE Institute. TAFE is T-A-F-E and Stanley College as well. Both are open at the moment and you can apply. Okay, they don't need you to have any degree. They just need you to have the zeal to want to learn a skill. So you might um, want to become, you know, a plumber, welder, construction, okay? Go into project management. You don't need a degree at all. And they've got a wide array of courses you can study in Stanley and uh, Tate Institute. The particularly interesting thing about this Australia is once you finish, you are guaranteed a job. So they, 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 they take you in and then you get a job straight away. So even if you invest and pay money to go acquire the skills, you're granted a job. And Australia pays right now, top three countries that pays the highest minimum wage in the world. In fact, in Australia, the minimum wage is different in the morning, in the afternoon and at night. People who work at night earn much more. So that's another one for you. Number three is Japan. Japan is another one that I love. You can check out this website. It's called studykyoto.jp. S-T-U-D-Y-K-Y-O-T-O dot J-P. In Japan, you can learn how to become an automobile engineer and you don't need a degree at all. You can learn how to become a mechanic and you don't need a degree at all. And they will pay you on the job. Okay? It will pay you. It's like a job. So you will get paid while you're studying and when you finish study you'd actually also be guaranteed of a position so you might want to take a look at studykyoto.jp they've got and you don't need to worry about language barriers in these countries you don't need to worry about in finland it's english in australia of course it's english and in japan you will learn in english but it, what makes it also interesting is if you decide that you want to learn japanese they would also arrange free tutoring for one year for you to learn japanese so it's amazing uh, Aside from these three countries, there are other countries you can go to that are options, but just that I love these three countries. Germany offers free vocational studies as well. And in New Zealand, they've got an amazing opportunity for you to move without a degree. But the problem is you have to have a skill from your end. So maybe a skill in construction, a skill in welding, one of the skills that will be on the shortage occupations list in New Zealand. And so long as it's on the list, you can apply for a visa and go to New Zealand and see if you can acquire a job using one of your skills. Um, some people have said that you can also go to New Zealand as a tourist, although it's not legal to look for work as a tourist, but some people have done that. Um, see opportunities that exist with your skill and then try to apply for this job. So to me, the three countries you have to look out for, Japan, Finland, and Australia. Those are countries you can move to without a degree. Oh, amazing. Thank you very much, Waka Waka, doctor. So can I just ask you another question on top of what you explained? So these are mostly on the study route. Is there any other route you think people can migrate if they don't want to study like a work route without any degree? Okay, well, if you want, if you don't want to acquire any degree uh, based on the ones I've talked about, and you just want to acquire a skill, then you can, um, you just want to work without a degree. Um, like I said, you need to have a skill you're bringing on board. And one of the countries that you can look out for is Lithuania. Okay, if you've got a skill um, that you're already acquired, but you don't have a degree to back it up. You need to get a certificate that shows that you have that skill. If you have a certificate, let's assume, for instance, I am a construction worker or I am someone who knows how to put up roofing sheets. Mm -hmm. I need to get a certificate from an organization mm -hmm. to show that I'm a member of the Association of Roofing Sheet Makers in mm -hmm. Bangladesh or something. Mm -hmm. And then that would allow you apply for positions in Lithuania. Okay. This is also applicable in New Zealand as well. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that you need that certificate. Um, but aside that, for New Zealand, you need IELTS. You don't need IELTS in Lithuania. You need that certificate, you need IELTS, and you can search for jobs on all other job routes. They only need your skill, your experience. Age limit is 55 years old. You cannot be older than 55 years old. And so long as you've got this, you can apply. 
And do you recommend any job sites? Well, I, I like like I always say, job sites. There are a lot of job sites, and I will be sending them to Sarika. She's going to put them in the description box of this video so that you can check on your own and just click on them and apply it to as many as possible. Good. Thank you very much, Waka Waka Doctor. Before we wrap this video, any final tips to my audience? I, I mean, I always say that you have to move abroad by fire by force. That's my slogan. Um, so long as you conceive it, so long as you see the advantages that lie with respect to moving abroad and take the leap. The best time to start is now and the second best time to start is now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming and doing this video on my channel. Thank you and all the best for your new book. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks to Waka Waka for coming and recording this video. And I hope this video is useful to you guys. If you guys got any questions or queries, make sure you leave your comments below. I'll add all the links that we talked about in this video so that you can take advantage of it. And uh, all the best to everyone. And thanks for watching my video till the end. I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.